Yes, we can go back to Europe. Have you heard the news? The European Union is going to open up to American travelers this summer. Well, hey there, fellow travelers. Before we get too excited and buy our tickets to fly, I think there's some information you need to know about this announcement before you start booking, okay? So, for those of you who don't know, the announcement actually came out. New York Times published an article with Ursula von der Leyen, who's the president of the European Commission, kind of like the European president. And uh, I'm going to read the, a quote from this. Uh, as she said, the Americans, as far as I can see, use European Medicines Agency approved vaccines. Mm -hmm. This will enable free movement and the travel to the European Union. Hey, you hear that? Our vaccines mean we can go to Europe. That's awesome. And to make it even better, she noted, because one thing is clear, all 27 member states will accept unconditionally all those who are vaccinated with vaccines that are approved by EMA. That means Moderna, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, those are all approved as of now. Those are ones that if you got those, you'll be able to go. So what does this mean? Well, this means Europe is open. But Europe's not open right now, okay? What you have to realize is we're talking about this summer. And what is summer? Well, I'm a college professor. So summer for me starts when the semester ends in the middle of May. My kids get out of school the end of May, so that's when summer starts. But in Europe, for a lot of Europeans, summer is July and especially August. And they have not set a firm date when things will open up, okay? But there is hope because now they've actually said that travel will be possible, whereas non-essential travel has been banned for what, a year now to Europe for Americans? And the thing is, is I really think it's important to note that this is the European Union, okay? The, the European Commission president, um, the president of the European Commission, and this is the European Union. There's been countries that have been open for U.S. travelers in Europe for the entire time. Okay, this is only looking at the European Union. So you look at places outside the EU, like going to Britain, right? Going to England or Wales or Scotland or going to places outside the European Union. Maybe you're going to Serbia. Different rules, different restrictions, different things you need to do. This is specifically for the European Union. And the thing is, though, this is great news. Things are opening up. But you notice they were talking about vaccinated people, okay? And vaccinated travelers. And that means that you will need to be vaccinated in order to get permission to go or permission to enter the European Union. And that means whether it is a vaccine passport or vaccine certificate, or you're gonna to have to have some proof of your vaccination when you're gonna be going there to be allowed in, okay? So just have a, a thought about that. And that means that if you're looking to travel with your kids this summer, your kids under a certain age, there's no vaccine for them yet, okay? So your kids won't be able to go looking at what they said in this announcement, okay? I'm gonna talk about some other things later, but this is something you have to think about. So you might wanna call grandma and grandpa and be like, hey, could y'all come babysit the young ones while we go to France and, and you know, <laughs> have a good time when we're there? But no, I mean, this is something you really have to think about. And I think another thing this is important is you have to realize is I mean, we have friends and family in Europe and we have friends in Italy and, and, and family in Greece and they've been locked down. They have not been able to leave their cities. I mean, they still can't leave their cities. I'm filming this at the end of April and they're still locked down. And you have to realize is Europe will not go from people can't go three miles from their house to every tourist is welcome in a day or a week. It takes time for the transition. There's certain things that have to happen. So don't think things will open up right away. But at least they're starting to recommend a change to the travel policy at the European Union, which is great. And I think it's also important to note that they did say that um, individual member states may reserve the right to keep stricter limits. They may not permit citizens from outside the bloc to visit or might enforce restrictions like quarantines even on visitors who have vaccination certificates. So don't expect every country to have the same rules. Even if Europe says we're open, or the European Union says we're open, that doesn't mean every country is gonna say welcome. Greece is already like, welcome, come on, come enjoy our beaches and our food and our people. Other places, it might take some more time, or they might require you to quarantine, or have a test and a vaccine. And this is the thing is since each country can do their own thing, you might have countries that say, you know what, vaccinated are great, but if as long as you test negative, 
you can come visit, like what Hawaii's done for quite some time now and quite successfully. So you might not have vaccines required, but you'll have testing required. Again, it's going to be a country by country basis, and you're going to have to keep up to date with the country you're going to and what's required. Because really, don't think it's going to be a standardized thing across every single country in Europe. It just doesn't work that way, and it won't work that way. So you really need to keep up to date. So if you are taking this news as such good news like I am, there are some things I really want you to remember when you're looking at booking and traveling and, and tickets and stuff like this in hotels flexibility is key make sure you're reading that cancellation policy the change policy do you get your money back is it 24 hours or less you know you, or more you get all your money back what is it because I know places that hey up to 24 hours before and we'll give you your money back Delta we had to cancel flight after I had the boarding passes e-credit no problem but then there's other places we've gone to hey COVID happened now we're keeping all your money i'm like what so you need to make sure you're reading those cancellation policies making sure you're up to date on everything also make sure you're getting travel insurance that covers COVID related incidences because just in case something happens not all travel insurances cover things that go with pandemics Okay, so you need to make sure that you're covered for incidences, okay? And I think what's the most important thing, which you have to realize is a lot of things are going to be different. A lot of things are going to be closed when you go there. Not every business survived the pandemic, okay? Not everything is available. So museums might be closed or have restricted hours or you might have to make reservations to go there, okay? Restaurants, you wanted the Bourdain effect. I want to go see the restaurants Bourdain went to. Maybe some of those have gone out of business right and so you just make sure you have more patience more flexibility give yourself extra time when you're going around because of social distancing measures all these kind of things you do need to be prepared for that but at least there's hope out there i know i'm excited my mom and i actually bought tickets last night to go to france in august because we're ready we think things are going to happen we're going to be able to go and spend some time together but again it's my mom and i we're both vaccinated we both got our our, our cards and stuff like that so we're excited to go but sadly caleb and liam they're not going to be going to europe this summer so unless there's different restrictions where we could take the whole family so i'm going to keep up to date with that and you need to as well so Happy travels this summer, wherever you go. If you want to know more about traveling during the pandemic and all this kind of stuff, we actually have a playlist that's linked below or go to our main channel, youtube.com slash Walters World. There's pandemic playlist, which has tips for traveling flights, hotels, sites, how to plan during this, all available to you. So I wish you well traveling wherever you're going to go, whether you're staying in the US, you're going to Europe because you can, or you're traveling next door. I wish you all the best. Bye.